Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to cover IP Source Guard. Uh, so IP Source Guard is used normally in conjunction with DHCP snooping and often with dynamic ARP inspection. And so um, these kind of build on each other. So DHCP snooping stops rogue DHCP servers or man-in-the-middle attacks caused by, um, you know, DHCP um, uh, request or response uh, poisoning. Um, dynamic ARP inspection works in conjunction with that, and so it will look in that in that DHCP snooping table and um, deny ARP packets from anything that's not in that binding table. IP source guard is the third piece of that, uh, which is often used together, and it will stop all packets on a on a port, all IP uh, uh, packets on a port, and accept DHCP packets um, until a DHCP reply and response goes out and it gets built into that binding table. So once it's in the DHCP binding table, then it should be good and and um, and then it will IP source guard will put it in the, in the IP source guard table and it will then forward packets. But until then, nothing goes out. So um, really, there's three ways to apply it. We can apply uh, IP source guard on a per port basis, on a per VLAN per port basis, or if you have route, if you're running router code with a VE on it, like I am here, then we apply it to the VE itself. But this works differently than you know, the other two, then DHCP snooping and dynamic ARP inspection, which were covered in other videos, where you don't you don't assign it to trusted ports in this case. What you do with, with IP source guard is you turn it on only on the ports that you want to run source guard on. So if you turn IP source guard on your uplink ports, for example, that is going to be extremely detrimental because it's going to drop all traffic from everyone unless it gets put in that in that DHCP snooping database. Uh, so it's pretty much going to cut you off from the world. So don't do that. You have to be selective on where you want to turn it on. Because once you turn it on, it's just like an ACL with a implicit deny at the end, with the exception of DHCP packets. Everything else gets dropped until it's in that binding database. So um, I have if we look at my configuration here, I have uh, DHCP snooping turned on on VLAN 1 right now. I have 1 slash 1 slash 5 trusted, which is my uplink to the rest of the world. Uh, and then I do have a VE assigned to VLAN 1. So uh, as I said before, if I have a VE on router code, then I have to assign my IP source card to the VE itself. So what we're going to do, uh, go into config T, interface VE 1. And it's pretty simple to turn it on. We just do a source dash guard enable, uh, and we want to we want to enable it. We want to tell it what port to enable it on, right? And what we don't want to do is turn it on for the whole VLAN, because if I do, it's going to turn it on for my uplinks and cut me off. So uh, one slash one slash two is where my PC is, and there's a couple other devices on that port as well. So um, so now at this point. I have essentially cut off everything, right? So my PC can't talk on that port. Um, there's a access points. There's a couple other devices on that port that are no longer able to communicate um, until they send a DHCP uh, request and get a response back. Then it will put it in the binding table. But let's assume that it's not. So um, if I do a show uh, IP source guard. I see I have nothing in my source guard table at this point, right? Um, show IP DHCP snooping info shows me I do have an entry for 192.168.1.17 out port 1 slash 1 slash 2. However, it has not yet sent a DHCP uh, um, request, so therefore it's not in that in the uh, IP source guard database. And we don't see my laptop, which is going to be 1.19 1 when it comes up. Um, and so my laptop has no connectivity to anything except DHCP packets. That's the only thing I can send at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do an IP config slash renew on my laptop here. 
So it should now show up in the snooping database, which it does, right? We see 192.168.1.19.112. So, you know, we've seen snooping work. If you watch the other videos, you know how snooping works. So now, if I look in that source guard table, now I have an entry for uh, 192.168.1.19, out VLAN 1, and out interface 1 slash 1 slash 2, and it's type IP and filter mode active. So, um, so now my laptop can talk to anybody, right? Now I have full connectivity. Um, it's just like a, you know, permit IP any any um, once that's in the binding database. For devices that are, say, not DHCP enabled, I can create a static entry as well. So I can do a IP source binding, um, and we will choose, uh, let's see, 192.168.1.18, for example. Um, and uh, then I say what port it's out of, e one slash one slash two. And then lastly, I'm gonna set my VLAN, so VLAN one. So then I have statically created this entry. So if I do a show IP source guard, so now 18 is going to be allowed. So if it's a, you know, printer or something that that's not using DHCP that's that's on a static, then that device will now be able to communicate on the network. So you're not out of luck just because it is um, it is not a DHCP enabled device. So. Um, it, it will, by the way, it will not let me, even though 192.168.1.17 is in the DHCP snooping table, it's not in the IP source guard table. So if I try to create a static binding for that right now, it's going to refuse because it's going to say, hey, it's already in the DHCP snooping table. So that's, you're not going to be able to do that. So what you need to do is go to that device and do, you know, um, either reboot it or, or, or have it re-grab a DHCP address, then it will get put into that binding table. That's, of course, just a you know one-off, right? That doesn't happen very commonly. It's just because I just turned on snooping. So that's what, what's happening there. So um, what we will see here is we see my IP source guard enable E1 slash 1 slash 2 turned on under, my, under E1. And then I also see, here's my static binding, right? So if you want to remove that static binding, you can do a no source bind, etc. cetera. Um, right, so, you know, those all work together. DHCP snooping, dynamic ARP inspection, and IP source guard all work together to protect your environment. Um, you know, they're there for you to use. They don't take a lot of CPU resources. So, yeah, you might as well use them and, and protect your environment. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for joining, and take care.